something else going on here, y'all. It's for me, it's for you, it's for everybody. If you think that this is about some job you have, that this is about some university as a material institution or some president, then when, when you're standing before the Lord, He's going to look at you and say, Why? Why did you make yourself a tool of honor for those who kill my babies? And if you say, Lord, it was my job, do you know what He's going to say? You got no job here. That's, you I got know, that's no our job here. That's, you that's got no place here. You got no soul you know, that can enter into decision. my precincts. See, no, but because because at the end of the day, you know, people like Father Jenkins or Barack Obama can issue all the orders they want. But you know the reason why tyranny has failed in the past in America is because when tyranny issued the order of atrocity. The conscience of good people said no, and they refused to act according to that which violated the law. So, so I understand when you say that you're just doing your job, but I hope you realize that what went off in my mind had nothing to do, you know, with anything in this situation. If you actually believe that and think that that is a shield behind which your spirit may hide, remember that the Bible says, go to the rock, the rock won't hide you. Okay? And, and that being the case, and this, by the way, if you read the Acts, do you know what St. Paul was doing with the jailer he was with? In Dr. Do you remember Keys, that? It's not about what we believe or not believe. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. It is about that. I'm asking you. It's exactly about that. It is in every circumstance about that. Okay? It is in every circumstance. I'm asking you. Please, by your last name. No. Well, at the, at the moment. Yeah, well, well, it's not my decision exactly, it's my right. In point of fact, as I often tell people about many things, you lose all the rights you don't stand on. At the moment, I have the right yes. to remain silent. Oh, yeah, but, I'm not, you know. But the, 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 the point being, though, that this is not my concern. You all do what you do. Okay, okay. And right. I will understand this. Though I don't right. understand in front of lots of how at the moment. In front of lots right. of how, witnesses, no, I don't Dr. Understand Keys, you can advise I don't understand how at the moment. Mean, are not allowed to come to on university property. Okay, okay. There, we, there's an appellate process for this. We wish to follow it. We could give you a copy of this trespass notice if you wish to appeal this decision. You know, I'm, I'm informing you of that. There is an appeal process. Well, no, but, but no, all of that doesn't matter because I will do what the Lord calls me to do. Okay. And, 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 and you will do. And right, you will do. Sir. And no, no, no. I'm no. But well, I'm, I'm not challenging it either. Well, the one thing I am issuing, though. Okay? And I think you really have to think about this. Because I have found over the years that I've done my work, and, and maybe it's one of the reasons why I, they say I'm not such a successful politician. I care less about winning and victory than I do about the souls of each and every person I meet. I am more worried about you guys right now than I am about anything that's likely to take place here. Because if you're really believing what you're telling me, you really think that you can do that which is contrary to right, and that it is somehow justified because you got a job. You must remember that God holds us responsible for the jobs we do, as well as the jobs we do. And that means that when push comes to shove, we are called not to do the job that puts us at cross purposes with the will of our Almighty God, right. with the Son of Jesus Christ, and with what we know to be the truth. Right. Yeah. And, and simply because bad and people take over your university, that doesn't mean that you have to follow their behest. But all I'm saying is that you go down the line and imagine the situation at a university like this, at a university that was really Christian and where people were really Catholics. It would be like reading one of those uh, accounts. This is what moved my heart when I was growing up, right? Because I always used to wonder when uh, people were being lynched, right? Uh, and, and this I mean not just black folks, but when people were, a mob was about to take somebody and string them up, right? Um, and somebody was standing there to represent the force of law and so forth and so forth. Sometimes people would stand for the right thing and sometimes they wouldn't, right? You'd go down the line to count the people who would go along with the unlawful thing. And finally, if you got to a person who would stand for what was right, right? then there was some hope that right would be done. But that meant that law enforcement carried a responsibility that went beyond doing your job. Because there were some people who would interpret that job as not standing 
for a right if it's, you know, what you're told to do. And other people who would say, you know, uh, this is something that is against right, and I can't do it, get Joe to do it. I'm going to fire you. You get Joe to do it anyway, see? Because what you've decided is that you would rather be an instrument of what prevents the truth from being known and hold on to your job. I understand that. But don't think that that's not the choice. You've made the choice. Right. And yeah. that choice which you have made is the same choice that Jenkins is making. Because the world rewards you in its various ways for the betrayal of God. Even as he thinks he's going to be rewarded by inviting this man who stands for everything the church says he wants. Doctor, he's no disrespect. Oh, I have no disrespect. I hope you'll pray right. over that. But I really do.